Brendan, would you like to start? Yeah, sure. Not sure, right? Go for it. Hey, <laughs> oh, it's broke. Okay. Um, can you talk a little bit about the decision to go from the high school coaching ranks to try your hand at first in the pros and now here in college? What that decision was like for you? Yeah, I just think in, in any pro profession, your your goal is to to move up, and you know I had a a, a really really good run at, at the high school level, but I wanted to challenge myself more. And obviously, when the Dolphins called, I thought it was a great opportunity. It was at home; I didn't have to uproot the family, and it was an opportunity to to go learn at the highest level. And from there, uh, when Coach Norvell gave me the call, you know, just just spend that year in in at the pro level, it wasn't as intimate as the high school level. So when I got the call from Coach, Nor Coach Norvell, uh, you know, I thought about it because it was a tough decision, but ultimately I decided because it, it gave me more of a high school feel, uh, a feel where I can have, I can be more hands-on with the, with the guys. And, uh, you know, so far so good. They, they welcomed me with open arms, have a good group of kids, and uh, looking forward to the challenge. So we did pretty good last year. We want to raise that mark you know, these upcoming years. As one with Forte, do you and Coach Norvell have like a pre-existing relationship? Is there anybody on this staff, you know? I mean, how did it sort of come about? Did you have an agent reach out to him? Can you kind of walk us through that process? Yeah, just, just, just you know, coaching at the high school level, you you see these guys all the time come and recruit, recruit my school, which is one of the premier high schools in the country. So I knew Coach Norvell from recruiting. Obviously, Randon Shannon actually coached me with the Dolphins. That's how old Randy is. <laughs> uh, I know Coach Dave Johnson. I'm originally from New Orleans, so I know Dave from New Orleans. Uh, played against Ryan Dugans. Obviously, I know Coach Odell, you know, Kiwan, Coach Russell. I, I was familiar with a lot of guys on the staff, and that, that made the, the transition, you know, much easier. Just, just knowing that I can come here and, and these guys, you know, kind of help me through the process, you know, get started and everything. And, uh, you know, like I said, man, so far it's been great. Those guys have been great. The whole administration has been great. And uh, just looking to get this thing rolling. We've got one on Zoom here, Pat and Michelle. Yeah, Patrick, I want to ask, when you get a chance to sit down and actually look at what sports did last year, the last couple of years, what is your assessment of the defensive backs, the secondary goals? Yeah, just, just growth, growth and maturity. Uh, I think – you know, those guys finished fourth in the country and passing yards allowed. I think the thing that, you know, we, we want to do more this year is take the ball away. Uh, you know, being around football a long time, I think if you, you're able to win a turnover battle, you have a pretty good chance of winning, what, almost 85% of your game. So, you know, even though we we held teams to, to 165 passing yards a game, I think the next step will be, you know, taking the ball away and giving our explosive offense the, the, the ball repeatedly. Oh, uh, it, it was a tough decision. Uh, you know, obviously I was at the highest level. You know, why leave the highest level, take a step down, you know, to college. But I haven't been in college, so I wanted to test the waters, you know, kind of get my feet wet and, and, and see, see what it was. And, uh, you know, I haven't coached the game yet, but just being around the guys, it's like I said, it, it gives me more of a high school feel, you know, where I'm able to, to kind of mold these guys you know, into what they, they're going to become. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Obviously, you know, we have some some lofty expectations this year, you know, to, to make it to the, the final four and beyond. So it's going to be a challenge, but but I'm up for it. Chris Meade, 247. Coach, how much do you think, having been at the high school level, having a son go through the recruiting process, having a ton of players get recruited at high levels, give you a different perspective as a recruiter now at the college level? It's different. It's different. Uh, obviously, you know, in, in high school, you're, you're dealing with, with younger guys, and and uh, but at, at this level, you actually got to get on the road. And with Florida State being a national school, you, you got to go find players all over. Now, I know we have our regions and everything where we recruit, but if we're gonna get Florida State back to where we needed needed to be, we got to go get the best players in the country, no matter where, where they are. And uh, you know, that, that was my message, and I, I think Coach, you know, has taken heed to that and, and just let me go get guys. So, you know, it's been a, a new experience for me, but uh, it, it's been worth it. And, 
you know, I, I know you hear all the, the the negative connotations about recruiting and all that, but it's no big deal. You know, you you just developing relationships with kids, you know, meeting the parents. And for me, that's fun. The hardest part is the driving part, but I, I get used to that. But it's, you know, I got here, what, three weeks ago? They put me on the road the, the next day. So it's, it's been fun. I'm, I'm finally getting to see you guys' faces. You know, I'm, I know two for sale, but now I'm finally getting to see y'all. So it's all good. Uh, when you're breaking down film of these high school prospects or, or guys in the transfer portal, what exactly are you looking for in your defensive back? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for guys who's who who's doing things similar to what we're going to do at this level. We play a lot of press coverage, and uh, you know, I'm looking for for guys who play press man, and I get, get kind of spoiled because I coach. You know, guys at at Heritage who actually played, you know, that press man. Uh, obviously, my son Tyson gone to the Pro Bowl and see him this this week. You know, in, in Las Vegas. So, you know, you kind of get spoiled, but there's a lot of talent out there, and you just gotta, you know, turn every leaf over to to go find them. And, I, and I'm willing to do that. And you know, really, with with the location of Florida State, you don't have to go too far to find them. All the talent in Florida and Georgia, Louisiana, right there. Uh, obviously the Panhandle and Mobile, you know, you can kind of get the majority of the guys from those places. But, uh, you know, I, I want a guy who's going to play similar technique, a, a guy who has natural ball skills. So you might have a receiver, you know, in high school right now going both ways that's going to be projected to play, you know, defensive back in college. And, uh, you know, that's the kind of guys I'm looking for. You know what? It, it it's been it's been fine. It's been fine. Like I, I've heard the horror stories about recruiting, but you know, from what I've, I've experienced, it hasn't been that way. And obviously, with the NFL, you know, those guys do a little bit of recruiting, but it's in a different way. Like going to pro days and you know the the, the combine. So it, it it's kind of kind of similar in that way. So it really hasn't been a big adjustment for me, all uh, because I was used to doing it just on a smaller scale in high school. So, you know, like I said, man, so far so good. And I'm I'm actually looking forward to to getting to meet more kids and, and more parents and developing relationships to to get us to that next level. Corey Clark Morton. When you when you're a great player like you were, um, how hard is it to then try to teach other people to be great? Because some guys maybe don't have some of the natural ability or the, just the ability that you had. So what was that transition like to coach guys that aren't Patrick's yeah, I mean, I, that's a great question. I think you gotta gotta take treat every individual separately. You know, some some guys may do things better than other guys, so that's that's where the coaching aspect come come into part. You gotta find out what each individual guy does best and, and kind of try to hone those skills and and the deficiencies that he have. You know, try to work work on them and put them within our team concept. And uh, it's going to be a challenge, but I, I feel I have a great room of guys who who are willing to work, and you know they, they they've been uh, bright eyed, you know, just just knowing that I'm coming in and, and knowing you know the pedigree and the guys that, that I've coached. So I'm actually looking forward to it because I feel we have a, a a group that has a chance to be really really special. Do they know? I assume they knew who you were when they looked you up, but they didn't know after you were hired. But have you talked to them about? I have. I, I've met with each and every player, and uh, I told them they might have to find some of my film on VHS. I don't know if they know anything about that, any VCRs or anything. But uh, now they knew. They they mostly knew because the same name and my son was just you know closer to their age. But uh, you know, Coach Norvell made sure they know in the team meetings to to bring my accolades up or whatever. But you know, that's all in the past, man. I'm here to do a, a specific job here, and that's to get those guys better. Uh, make sure those guys are are doing great on and off the uh, football field and ultimately graduating and, you know, try to live out that lifelong dream and make it to the NFL. If not, you know, teaching them certain life lessons to be, you know, just just, just great young men all around. Yeah, you mentioned uh, Brandon, the next step in the defense is to um, create turnovers. How, is, how do you go about doing that? Is, um, is, like, um, is there certain drills you do? How do you go about doing 
Yeah, we just got to work on it. Uh, I know we have tackle turnover circuits every day in practice. So just just punching the ball out, uh, getting 11 hats to the ball. Don't loaf, you know, because, you know, you loaf on the pass, you might miss a tip or overthrow. So my, my whole goal is to, to get the guys to run to the ball each and every play. When you run to the ball on defense, good things happen. So, and obviously the, the, the interception part of it, just, just having guys, you know, play the ball better, getting their heads around when, when need be. You know, sometimes you need to get your head around, sometimes you need to play through the hands. You know, just, just different scenarios like that. And hopefully, you know, getting some position where we can use zone eyes to kind of get zone vision and, and, and just play the routes and play the quarterback. So, you know, it, it's going to be a work in progress, but I feel I have a, the group of guys to get it done. I know all the kids, <laughs> you know, that's, that's a big part. I know all the coaches and, uh, I don't, I think those kids down there re respect what I've done in the past. And, and, uh, you know, I think they see that Florida state is on the up and up and, uh, you know, when when college football was at its best, Florida State was at its best. And I think we're getting back to that point with, with this last season and, and guys see the the movement that, that Coach Novell has started and all the guys that he's hired, the players that, he, that he's brought in. And I think they want to be part of that. So I have a big influence on the South Florida community within the, you know, the, the football realm and, and high school kids. And I think that this is something that they'll be really excited to be part of. Yeah, my, I go back to my high school coach, uh, Coach Ott, you know, who coached me since eighth grade. Uh, coach Watney, uh, my basketball coach, Coach Robinson, a bunch of influences uh, at the college level. My, my defense coordinator, Coach Thompson, uh, Coach Dave Womack, who's been a head coach in, in college before. And in the league, I can just hear Jimmy Johnson. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson, my position coach, uh, Mel Phillips. You know, I've had a lot of influences, you know, in, in my career. I'm, 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 never in a million years did, did I think I would, you know, get into coaching. After I retired, you know, I was just trying to find something to do and just going to my son's little league practice. I was like, I'm out here every day. I might as well help out. And then, you know, everything kind of started from there. And, you know, you develop these relationships with these kids, man, and you just fall in love with it. That, that's what kind of happened to me. Of course. Um, you actually played in this stadium before, uh, 1996, before this game. Yes. Was what do you remember about that game, uh, if anything? I, I guess, did you cover Ron Rivers? Were you in that game, I guess? I remember we got our butt kicked. Well, cool. yeah. well we were actually up 7 nothing, I think, and then it was like. I just looked, it was 14-14. It was 14-14, see? I remember after that, we couldn't get a three-step ball because they had Peter Bowler, Renaud Wilson, Wadsworth, all them guys. And uh, I can't – I know Peter Warg was on that team. Who was the quarterback? Winky? We, uh, no, that would have been Busby. Busby. I Warwick know Dunn Warwick Dunn was, Dunn was on that team. So they were loaded. They were, That was the Florida State team to the bowl. And, uh, you know, I remember coming here, man, and it, the atmosphere was, you know, second to none. Uh, 14 14, where they wound up 50 to 14. So they went on a, a 40 to nothing run on us. So <laughs> I remember vividly. <laughs> hey, coach, what is, what is like the energy around Miami Dunn? Did that attract you quite a bit of coming here and coaching? Absolutely. Uh, I, I remember when he came, you know, to the school and recruited. You know, he had that same passion and just talking to guys who coach under him from, from Memphis. You know, they say he's always that way. He's, you know, he always had their energy, man. And he's he's well liked. He's respected by his players. You know, he, he's tough in a way, but at the same time, you know, he he's relentless at in the pursuit of excellence. And uh, you can see, man, those first two years, it, he was kind of trying to get his guys in, trying to trying to get this thing rolling. Then last year, it kind of just happened, just happened. And I, I don't see it slowing down anytime soon. Uh, he has. A blueprint in place that that's going to you know take us to where we need to get. Brendan, you mentioned great history on Ronnie when you got 
here three weeks ago. That's been an open recruiting period. Mm -hmm. Players, I guess, how are you balancing all these new faces in such a short period of time? It's hard. I haven't even found a place to stay yet, so (laughs) I'm just chilling at the AC Marriott right now, but. You know, hopefully in these next couple of weeks, you know, like you said, February is a dead period, so we'll get more time off. So hopefully I can just just get settled and uh, just just get on some solid footing. But as far as the the recruiting and the, and the kids and everything, you know, you, you do all that in the office, just the off the field stuff, you know, just getting the family situated, situated, you know, that's that's the thing that's been, you know, been a, the most most hard but the good thing is i have a my daughter's here my daughter's at fam you so i get to see her you know every day and all uh, it, it's, it's been good have you been able to walk away from that from an nfl job if this program wasn't on the rise and probably not <laughs> probably not oh uh, and it, it's still in the state of florida like if if minnesota would have called me i would have stayed with the dolphins if washington or washington state called me i would have stayed with the dolphins but Tallahassee, what, five hours away from home with an iconic program like Florida State that, that's getting back to, to their glory days. That was the perfect situation. So, you know, it, it, lightning happened in the bottle twice with the Dolphins and now Florida State, and, you know, I'm, I'm ready to leave my mark on the program. Yeah, it's the Super Bowl and bust at the next level. The fact that you're here now, the program is considered a championship or bust mentality. How, how much are you embracing that? How much are you working around that? Oh, that's fun. That's, that's that's why you coach. That's why you coach. You know, you, you have all these expectations put on you, but, you know, your job as a coach to get your guys ready each and every Saturday to go fulfill those expectations. And, you know, you may come up short, but you, you, you're you going to give the 100 you know, percent, you know, each and every day. And I think if you do that, you know, and, and just be solid with these kids, you know, you can look yourself in the mirror and say, I gave it all I got. And uh, with the talent we have coming back, we definitely have a, have have a chance to be really really special this year. Okay. We're all set. Thank Good. You. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.